journalists often ask me the question, what type of training do you have to do to do a swim on Mount Everest? And my answer is, I'm not quite sure because no human has ever done a swim anywhere near 5,000 meters uh, on, on Mount Everest. But what I've been doing is I went down to uh, the Andes, to a high altitude lake at 4,000 meters, and I did a lot of swimming up and down there. So that's the first aspect to acclimatize one's, oneself to the altitude. Number two, what I've been doing is I've been training in freezing cold water. So we built a special swimming pool in Cape Town, threw tons of ice in it every day, and then in I jumped and swam around. And then I've been doing a lot of swimming. But the most important aspect is to get your mind ready. And uh, the most important moment is just literally 20 seconds before the swim. When you're standing there and you can get that sort of wobble in your mind and you have to stand there firmly and commit 100%. So I've been working with two top mind coaches here in Britain to get my mind really ready for that swim. I think this swim is going to be quite different to the swim which I did across the North Pole. Not only is the water fresh water as opposed to the sea water obviously at the North Pole, it's at high altitude and it's very very difficult to breathe at that altitude so I've been training swimming and breathing every about six or six or eight strokes just to prepare myself for Mount Everest where I won't have as much oxygen available to me.